Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce you to the CQ400 IP HD phone and give you a brief tutorial on its functions and capabilities. As you can see, the phone has four line keys and a color screen. Uh, it is a gigabit phone. Uh, the first line key we have just designated for the extension. So as you can see, we've got Bill's extension 150. Uh, then we've got three more keys with multiple functionalities. We happen to have one program as a park key and then two parking lots. As you can see the parking lots, one just turned red, that indicates that someone in the system has been parked. So a caller called in, they were then parked, uh, waiting for someone to pick them up. Parking spot two is open in case someone else were to call in and you need to park that person. These can be changed simply by pressing and holding the button. As you can see, it tells you what type of key it is along with the value. And if you'd like to change that, you simply scroll down to value and you can delete that, change the value. For the type, you merely select switch and you can change it to a speed dial or a wide variety of other options. As we continue down, we have the menu key. This takes you to the main menu of the phone where you can look at features, directory, call history, messages, settings, and displays. Pressing it again will return you to your main screen. The Envelope is your voicemail key. This will connect you directly to the voicemail of extension 150. It will turn bright red if there is a new voicemail waiting for you. And then once you listen to it and it becomes an old voicemail, uh, that light will go off. You can access that voicemail simply by pressing that key. And it may ask you for your password depending on how you set it up. Uh, or it may grant you direct access to your voicemail box. The next key is the mute key. Very useful if you're in a conference call and you'd like to listen, but not necessarily have your voice being heard at that point. This is the headset key. If you're using uh, one of the wired headsets that CQ offers for their CQ400 phone, simply pressing that key will activate your headset and then calls will go in and out of that headset uh, with audio. Next, we have the hang up key. If you're on speakerphone uh, and you are done with the phone call, simply pressing that key will hang up the conversation. The redial key will uh, redial the last number you dialed. As you can see, we've got the volume, so we can switch that on and off. It gives you an idea. In this case, we have the volume all the way off, which it does indicate that in the upper right hand corner that the volume is off. And when you were to switch it and turn it higher, that icon would go away. We have a speaker key here, which will automatically place the phone in speaker mode if you were to dial and then send. You can have a speaker conversation with someone. These keys right here will change based on the status of the phone. In this case, the phone is not being used for a conversation. So we have history where you can find the people that you have recently dialed, whether it's voicemail or conference rooms, and you can scroll and there are options where you can either add that person as a contact or even directly add them to the blacklist if you do not want that person to contact you anymore. You can forward your phone either always or only if your phone is busy or if you just can't happen to answer your phone. And you also, from this screen, can place your phone in Do Not Disturb. As you can see, it indicates it both here and at the top. You can still make phone calls while your phone is in Do Not Disturb, but any phone call that comes to this extension will go directly to voicemail. I will turn that off simply by pressing that key again. In the upper right-hand corner, we have our navigational tools along with the check mark. Uh, the check mark will provide you with the IP address of the phone uh, in a very quick fashion. Moving down the sides for our eight DSS keys, uh, as you can see we've got two red that indicates we have two extensions that are currently in use. Green indicates the extension is not in use. Uh, pulsing red would indicate that a phone call is, is ringing or is coming into that extension. Uh, you also can utilize this as a quick dial, so if this was extension 203, if you press that you would be calling extension 203. So not only does it show you status, it also allows you dialing. These can be speed dials. Uh, these can be a wide uh, variety of functions. Uh, similar to the line keys, if you want to see what it is or if you want to change it, you simply press and hold. It'll tell you what type of key it is. It's a BLF along with the value uh, 107. So in this case, that button is monitoring extension 107. Green would indicate that that extension is not in use. Red would indicate that it is in use. Uh, let me show you a little bit about what happens to these keys uh, during a conversation. So if we were to call this phone, 
as you can see we're ringing in I have the volume turned down right now I can answer it and let's just say I want to park this person I simply press the park key Seven, one. it tells me what parking spot they're in and then I press transfer that person is now parked as you can see the lock key has turned red anyone in the entire office that has a lock key can simply press that key and now they are speaking to that caller so it's a very easy way to transfer someone throughout the office I press that key and I have brought that phone call back to me let's just say I want to take that phone call and transfer it now I press the transfer key notice these have changed now that I'm in a conversation and then I want to press the blind transfer meaning I want to send it right to their phone and then I press the extension I want to send this to and it would go extension 121 would be ringing and the caller would be speaking to extension 121 if they picked up if they did not pick up that call would go to their voicemail another commonly asked question is how can I send a call directly to voicemail that's very similar so if a call does come in so here's a conference room calling again we're going to answer it and in this case we're going to transfer it blind and we're going to transfer it to star 121 so instead of just extension 21 we press the star key first that's going to send that call directly to extension 121's voicemail uh, extension 121 will not ring uh, the caller will be allowed to leave a voicemail uh, and then extension 121 can listen to that call later thank you and have a great day